Excuse me? Well, what do you propose to do about this problem? Uh, I can't do anything about it. Uh, I'm sure you can. I would like a free meal. For all the inconvenience I've been, been put through. I'm still doing some prank call tape conversions. Right now I'm doing the uh, Bay Area crank call tapes. I've been going through uh, all these tapes that MC Lars sent me, and it's kind of cool to see like the way all these different uh, tapes are created. I mean the covers, I guess, like most of them are a mess like this. <laughs> a lot of them are, um, you know, just printed out stuff, but like look at this. This tape is typewritten. Leroy Mercer calls around Knoxville, Tennessee. Nothing on the other side, possibly. But what's great is uh, on this one is uh, it's actually a inside-out thing of whatever this guy is. Look at that guy. <laughs> and yeah, they just you know turned it inside out and wrote on it for their prank call stuff. That's pretty great. Uh, here, here's the 976 girls and phone booth confidential. Do they do the same thing? That's two different groups. A lot of these tapes have two different groups on them. But, uh, is that the, uh, oh yeah, this is the 976 girls on this side. And then look at this awesome little list of calls that they did on, on this side. I've never heard of, I mean, I've heard of Phone Booth Confidential, but I've never listened to them before. I never got a copy of that tape back in the 90s. So back in the 90s, uh, you know, the internet was brand new, and all these sites popped up. I was one of them, and we would just trade prank call tapes, but, you know, the there there was no fast internet back then. We couldn't, and, and there was no storage. We couldn't just put calls, couldn't put clips up online. So we sent tapes to each other in the mail. This one, uh, they came up with their own website. I noticed it first in 1997, the Crank Callers of America. And uh, you may make copies of this tape and distribute them to friends, but n in no way will these full-length calls be allowed to be put on the internet. Well, guess what, Crank Callers of America? I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a gigantic archive of prank calls, and I'm putting them on the internet, and there's nothing you can do about it. I remember we made a parody site of the Crank Callers of America, and we never heard from them again. The Happy Telephone, I've never heard of that. And this is Volume 3, apparently. I love that some of these... Uh, claim to be labels, and there's phone numbers, and look at this, dial a prank, call 1-900, there's an extension. I don't know, I'm just kind of impressed with some of these labels in here. I mean, a lot of them are garbage, a lot of them are just handwritten, I shouldn't say garbage, but they're, you know, they're just handwritten. Uh, oh, happy telephone number two, I have volume two, I wonder if I have volume one. I, I don't think they got permission to use Mo on this cassette tape. All these cassettes are falling apart. And see, that's cool. Like, it tells you when it was recorded. With an old telephone in there. Mortem Records. How awesome is that? Uh, this one's pretty annoying. Uh, hoax. Bogus bootleg. Um, I didn't even see a track list on this one, but it's just... It's just this plastic cover that they've taped together, and you're supposed to take this out of it, and then you've got this gigantic flyer that says, Out Demons Out, uh, December 1994. Yeah. But I looked all over it. I couldn't find the track list. I don't think it exists. Uh, I already showed this one off on the video yesterday, but... I just noticed uh, today it has like green coloring on it, like I was trying to make it a color album art, because we didn't really have color printers back then. Mine has a phone number too, 
Contact a loser. Freedom Freakers. I had forgotten about even making that cover until Lars sent this to me. Uh, this telephone head one is kind of interesting. Um, you know, like, I, I traded prank call tapes with Lars back in the 90s, and I think I must have sent him this one. I remember the ones he sent me was uh, Mark Knopfler and um, John Truby. I don't know why I rem remember that, because I traded with a lot of people. But uh, this is one of my old cassettes. That's my handwriting. The back says blank, but it's actually uh, music by Digital Underground. I don't know why I didn't put prank calls on the other side. But the weird thing is that there's a note in here from me to Lars. Uh, or, I mean, I guess it's to Lars. I called him Mr. Noseman. Um, but it's a track list. Both sides repeat. Here's a list. Both sides don't repeat. The other side is Digital Underground. But uh, this is Telephone Head, and there's the track list. And this is later RBCP. And, uh... On the back, I make fun of the bad rap music. I'm not responsible. I probably am responsible, though. So that's pretty weird to get all these old tapes and see a note in here from myself. Get in there. Uh, what else is there? I don't know. That's What's in this one? Nothing too interesting. Some cool artwork, I guess. The Ginsburg Pranks. Another one I've never heard of. Look at that handwriting. Holy shit. Oh, and it's another one of these. Is that the same? Yeah, it's the same guy, but it, it had a different word here. It didn't say spiritual absorption and nirvana. Uh, Seattle Phone Pranks. That's a pretty fancy one. It's all on pink paper. The tape itself isn't too fancy. But look at this. Wow. They went all out on this. So yeah, prank call tapes. I like that most of these groups are kind of regional. Like, uh, like right now I'm converting the Bay Area prank call tape. And this is Seattle phone pranks. And here we've got Michigan phone pranks. And they're regional because we didn't have really long distance back then. I mean, we did, but it was expensive. Nobody can afford to dial long distance. That's crazy talk. That's something rich people do. So, prank call tapes. I'm converting them all into the computer. And pretty soon you're going to be able to listen to them. And there will be a torrent. And it'll be awesome. So be looking forward to that. Hopefully I get that done this year.